You're in your prime, you're feeling really good about the team you're with, and then you get the news that there's something wrong with you medically. Uh, tell us how you learned about the heart situation and, and what situ decisions you were forced to make. Yeah, I, you know, looking back on that whole experience, I was very lucky. I, uh, I, I'd gone in, my wife and I, we, we had twins, so we had four young kids, and I went in for a life insurance exam, and part of that, uh, part of the process was going through a physical. And uh, I, I was born with, a, with an abnormal valve, and my aortic valve was called what's called a bicuspid aortic valve. And uh, so part of the uh, plan was to get a physical, and I, and I was rejected for the life insurance. They didn't tell me why, and this was in January uh, of that last year that, that I was playing. Uh, team doctors sent me down to the Mayo Clinic. I, I went through the year, played it out. Uh, so I went down to the Mayo Clinic and went through battery tests, and I'll never forget walking in that next morning to see the cardiologist, and he said, you've got a life-threatening condition, and you need open-heart surgery. And it, you know, it just, it's a kick to your gut because I was in the best shape of my life. I just did have my best year uh, in the NBA. I was looking forward to a very long uh, career. And then you hear news like that and you associate that surgery with your grandparents. So, you know, I never knew a young person that had had open heart yeah. surgery. So finally got a second opinion, came to terms with it, had to get the surgery. Uh, went in that uh, late June, June 28, actually on draft night, I went in uh, to get the surgery, fully expecting to come back and play after the procedure, and it's tough. Uh, you know, I lost about 25 pounds. I had uh, an episode the day I got home from the hospital, I passed out, I had to get rushed back down uh, after face planning, and, and my pericardium sac that surrounds the heart had built up with a liter of fluid, had that extracted, had to get a pacemaker put in because my heart went out of rhythm. Uh, almost came back and played, uh, but with a young family, I decided it wasn't worth the risk. And that's when I moved on to the next phase of my life. But yeah, to answer your question, Mark, it was a very difficult thing because I was forced out of the game mm -hmm. and it wasn't on my terms. And that was very difficult to deal with being as competitive a person as I am. But again, when I look back on that whole thing, I realize it was just a matter of time. Uh, my aorta had, had grown uh, to a very dangerous level where it could have ruptured and exploded. And if that happens, it would have been too late. Uh, so I'm very fortunate I found out about it. And I'm sure Bulls fans have heard that you had another procedure done this past spring. Maybe you could let, us, let people know about that and what your long-term prognosis is. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> actually, every six months after that initial surgery, uh, I had an echocardiogram and, and I had tests done uh, to monitor the valve because I spared uh, my valve, my initial valve, because it was working fine. Uh, so as time went on, the valve would start to leak a little bit. And then this last year, it got to the point where in December, the surgeon recommended I should probably get the mm -hmm. procedure done, but I wanted to get through the year. I, I felt we had an opportunity uh, to really do some good things with that basketball team. So we kind of came to an agreement that if I had any symptoms, uh, you know, I would let them know and we would go in and get the valve replaced. Uh, it, uh, I got very tired at the end of last year. I just thought it was a grind of the season. Uh, so I had, uh, after the season was over, after we were upset in the NCAA tournament, uh, I went in to get checked again. They said, it's time. you got to get this thing mm -hmm. replaced. Uh, so I went in April 17th and, uh, and had the procedure to get my valve removed and uh, put in an artificial uh, heart valve. Again, it was a good thing I did. The surgeon said it was pretty worn out, and that was a lot of the reason that I had some fatigue uh, at the end of last year. I feel a lot better. I've got more energy. Uh, and long term, yeah, everything, everything should be fine. Uh, you know, if there's any danger, if there's any risk in me coaching uh, with, uh, with, with what I have, I wouldn't be doing this. My family's too important, but there's no restrictions now. You know, I can, I can do anything, and, uh, you know, obviously this is a very demanding job with a lot of hours, uh, but I'm, I'm certainly up for the challenge.